Hey learner, welcome to Ahmad Coaching and this is your teacher Dr. Anam. Today's video lesson is about composition of blood. When we talk about the blood, what actually the blood is? Blood is the fluid that runs in your blood vessels which is red in color. Whenever you get hurt, the red fluid which is coming out of the wound is actually the blood. Blood is actually the medium of transport of nutrients, gases, hormones and the waste product so if anything or any nutrient any gas which has to move from one part of the body to another part of the body it will be transported by the help of blood normally blood weight is about one twelfth of the body weight of yours and in average adult body about five liters of blood is present talking about the composition of blood blood is actually made up of plasma which is 55 percent white blood cells and platelets and red blood cells which make the blood cells or cells like bodies they are actually 45 percent so in other words we are dividing the blood into two parts one is plasma which is the liquid part and the blood cells or cell like bodies which is the solid part and in case of blood cells we have white blood cells platelets and red blood cells let's study first about the plasma plasma is actually 90 percent water and 10 percent dissolved substances here in this diagram you can see this liquid part or yellow part here this is plasma while this part here is actually the blood cells or cell like bodies so this plasma which is 55 percent of the blood when we further divide it, it will be converted into 90% water and just 10% dissolved substances are present in it. Now, if we talk about the concentration of the dissolved substances, these concentrations, they may vary depending upon the conditions of the organism. For example, in the morning you have a breakfast and you have eaten something very sweet. In your plasma, the glucose level, it will be high in the morning but as the passage of time the glucose will be utilized so maybe in the afternoon or around 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock the glucose level in your plasma it will be decreased so it vary according to the condition of the organism now let's study the composition of plasma what other things are present in the plasma first of all the plasma contains inorganic ions and minerals about 0.9 percent of the plasma by weight it contains minerals or inorganic kinds for example sodium chloride or the salts of bicarbonates they are present in the plasma in high concentration along with this calcium magnesium copper potassium and zinc they are also present in the plasma but they are present in very um, less amount or the trace amount of these minerals they are present now the change in the concentration of any salt can change the pH of the blood which is normally 7.4 for example if you are changing the concentration if we talk about the salt of bicarbonate if we are changing the concentration of the bicarbonate salt for example it increases it may change the H positive ions inside the plasma and because of the change in this H positive ion the pH will change and it may fluctuate from the normal pH of 7.4 the second component of plasma is protein inside the plasma about 7 to 9 percent by weight of plasma proteins are present and most of the proteins they are produced in the livers and from the livers they are sent into the blood to different parts of the body if we talk about uh, different proteins which are very important in the plasma it includes antibodies the antibodies which are going to protect the body from uh, any kind of germs or pathogens or harmful substances the second important protein is fibrinogen which is the blood clotting protein whenever you get the cut after some time the blood starts to clot at that particular wound so this is because of the presence of fibrinogen the third important protein is albumin which maintains the water balance of the blood the third component of plasma is the presence of organic nutrients it contains glucose lipid fats phospholipids amino acids cholesterol lactic acid all these 
substances which are organic in nature present in the plasma now when we talk about the organic it means they contains carbon hydrogen and oxygen in their structure so these organic compounds they are present in the plasma now some uh, organic compounds they enter from the intestine for example you have taken a meal and that meal is digested now the compounds they have reached to the intestine um, the glucose lipids fats phospholipids amino acids they all enter from the intestine but the lactic acid is the organic compound which enters from the muscle because the lactic acid is formed in the muscle when you are doing some exercise or some physical labor so the lactic acid is formed in the muscles and from the muscles it will enter into the plasma fourth component of the plasma is the nitrogenous waste products when we talk about nitrogenous it means they contain nitrogen element they are formed as a result of cellular metabolism it means that some things or the food you have taken it is going to broken down and during the process of this uh, breakdown some nitrogenous waste products they will be formed they may also form in the liver and then they are taken to different organs for example kidney to be removed out of the body the important nitrogenous waste products includes urea and uric acids which are removed in the urine out of the body the fifth component of the plasma is hormones all hormones in the body they are carried by the blood the hormones they are testosterone estrogen cortisol and thyroid hormones they all are poured into the blood and in the blood they are taken to their different destination sixth component is gases the plasma contains gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen which are taken to the lungs or which are taken to different tissues for the utilization so in summary the plasma contains inorganic minerals or ions proteins organic nutrients nitrogenous waste products hormones and gases